what is going on guys it is your boy Zeph from Cruise Customs back here for another video and today I'm thanking you guys for 300 subscribers appreciate it we're growing a little bit more and more every day I'm bringing another build on the LS 430 and we're about to put spacers on we got a lot of different things to do on it in this video but this is just like one section we're gonna be changing out the spacers and rolling out the fenders so hopefully we can have better fitment a better ride quality if you know what I'm saying so my boy Doty is here to help I'm gonna introduce him real quick. Oh shit. <laughs> this is my boy Doty. What's good guys? Bro, what kind of cars do you drive? I drive a 2012 Ford Focus, uh, semi-built, and then I also drive a 1998 Lexus GS300 with a rebuilt 2JZ motor. Knows a lot about cars, so we're in the car game all the time. You know what I'm fit you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> but we about to knock this out real quick. It should only take like at most an hour it shouldn't take longer than that because we're literally just changing out spacers and rolling the fenders so i have the spacers in the box right there i got them from amazon and i also have a roller that i've used previously on cars it's sitting in the beetle right now so i'm gonna go get that out the beetle is a mess right now but that's that's a future video <laughs> yeah we're gonna knock this out and get into it so i'll catch up with you guys when i get all the stuff together here's the box we got two sets of spacers there's two in each box, one for the front and one for the rear. They're both, I believe, like a 12 mil. Pretty thick, but it should be enough to be able to space the wheel out from the caliper in the front and also make sure that we don't have an issue with the lug nuts being too short because this should only take away a little bit out of the lug nut, so hopefully we can still bolt the wheels on. If not, then we got to find something else. We got to get extended wheel, lug nut, studs, something like that. But we're going to knock this out. I'm going to go get the fender roller. We're going to start because we're losing daylight and we got to get started. So let's get it. <laughs> Finally got it up on a jack. I gotta go get the drill. Oh, I need to get that. Ah, ah. <laughs> Ran into an issue. I need extended lug nut studs. I already rolled the fender because I'm trying to get this one wheel done even though I have no daylight. All right guys, it's basically a week later from the last time I filmed. I cut out a big portion of the video because the footage was too dark because I had recorded it at night. That's when we had complications with the uh, studs being too short. I had already rolled this fender and taken everything apart, put the new spacer on, but the uh, lugs would not twist onto the studs because they were too short. So to fix that, I got a package in. These are what I like to call extended lug nut studs. As you guys can see here, this should fix the issue. These are 50 millimeter lug nut studs. The OEM ones on this car are apparently 37, so this should add 23 extra millimeters, which should be enough to screw on the lug nut after we put on the spacer. So we're gonna knock this out today. Um, my dad also wants to paint these calipers black or some of, something of that sort so we can get it looking all nice and icy and it's gonna look good after we're all done. But today's main purpose is to get these lug nut studs in so we can get the wheels fitted and to roll the fenders so that everything sits nice and flush and tucked and we don't have any issues with rubbing so now after we get that out of the way then my dad is going to put paint on these calipers and we're gonna see how they come out so let's get into it so to start this off you guys already know what we do <laughs> Now that we got everything off, I have a 19 mil that I'm gonna use to take off the bolts that hold in the caliper right now. This is not helping me take it off, so I'm gonna use a breaker bar, which gives me a little bit more leverage. 
But since we're at this step now, I'm gonna take the caliper off, then I'm gonna take the rotor off, and then we're gonna be able to get to the hub where these are attached to. And then all you gotta do is bang these out with a hammer and they come right out. And then we're gonna need to press them back in and I'll show you the process after we do that. But I'll catch up with you guys after I get this all said and done off. All right, so now we're at the point where the rotor and the brake caliper is off. I have the caliper hanging on the A-arm right now and the rotor is actually sitting over there as you guys can see but it was pretty easy i mean it was a little rusted on there but i just took the hammer and i hit it on the top of it came loose now all we got to do is hit these studs real quick with the hammer they should just pop right out and then we'll be able to switch out the new ones and get the new ones in so let's get it And just like that guys, they are all out, all five. See how easy that was? What we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the extended ones. Oh, all right. So I'm gonna take the camera back. So right here, there's a little spot or divot behind the brake cut, which this is the brake cover, I think that's what it's called. But there's a little cutout right here because these are a little bit extended longer than OEM ones, as you guys can see. It's a, it's a lot of bit bigger. OEM, extended. And as you guys can see, I can't really get it to fit back behind here. Everybody just wants to be making noise right now. I can't concentrate. This little divot right here helps out because you can uh, put it through and back and pull it through. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go get uh, some spacers to go on here and then I'm just gonna take one of these lug nut bolts and press it in using that. You guys will see the process pretty easy, so let's get into it. So guys, I tested my theory and I got two of them in so far. So basically what I did was I took a stud and I put it through, as you guys can see here, put it through just like so. Then I took this huge nut with a little like free washer right here and I stuck it through there and I took an OEM lug nut and I twisted it onto this. Okay, just like this is how it looks. As you guys can see the threads, you can see these need to be pressed into the hub right here, but these are already pressed in as you guys can see. So it does work. So I got this and then the OEM lug right here and all i did was take this torque wrench with a 22 and put it on here but i, I do have to hold the stud so it gets intact So we're going to do that for the last two on this side and then we're going to put everything back together and have my dad paint the caliper. Since I got all of them done now, as you guys can see, they're all here. All five are in place. I'm going to start on the back over there. My dad's cleaning up this rotor. He's going to paint the inside of this so that it doesn't rust over time. He's also going to do the same thing on the back. So I'm going to put these in place so that we don't end up killing ourselves while we're working on the car just so that it doesn't move forward because it is at an angle in the driveway so we don't want it moving around but getting it done so I'm gonna do the same thing in the back get everything disassembled put the extended lug nuts on and then I'll show the process of my dad finishing all these up and painting the calipers so yeah let's get into it Okay, what is up guys? It is day three now of working on the Lexus to try to get it all finished. Last where we left off, we were doing the front wheel. We got that all sorted and figured out. I'll show you guys the finished product with that. But I didn't go in depth with that. So on the next side, I will go in depth with everything on there. But everything's painted on this side. It looks pretty spicy. We were having trouble on the back side because the back side is a little bit different. It's a disc and drum brake system, if that makes any sense. So the e-brakes are a drum brake, but the actual brakes are a caliper setup. So what we had to do was figure that out and we're having trouble getting the extended lug nut studs in because they don't fit between the drums right so we've got to grind down the edge a little bit 
so that they're a little bit shorter so that we can finagle our way in there but that will be done my dad just finished painting these rear calipers on this side we still have the other side to get done but that's all fitted that went out perfect there's the fronts couldn't have gone any better so proud about that i'm gonna show you guys what that looks like right now as we're in it wheel is on as you guys can see the calipers are painted black and everything fits nice there's space between the caliper and the wheel which is what we wanted so that we could run these and the fitment is perfect so let me show you guys this so you guys can see Ooh, can't wait to see what it looks like when the car is off the jack because right now it's really high because the jack is on but in the future we are planning to put coilovers or airbag suspension whichever one fits with the time and the money <laughs> it's gonna look dope but in the stages right now we're having trouble with the back and the only idea that we had come up with is grinding down the edge of the studs a little bit let me show you guys a little example right now so here's the extended lug nut stud as you guys can see right here there's a little there's a little edge right there we're planning on cutting that down just a little bit grinding a little bit off and then that should give us enough room to fit this inside of the hub because we go here on this as you guys can see it sticks out past the hub and even when i get it in there the tip barely goes in so to get that figured out we're going to grind this down and then hopefully it should just barely slip in and that is the plan so yeah let's get into it i'm gonna start grinding these down and then we're gonna try fitting this in so we can get this side done and lowered so let's get into it okay i'm back i got my safety goggles on i got my earplugs in because i've been grinding and that stuff gets loud in echoed areas but i got the stud in on this side so what we ended up doing was taking one of these extended lug nut studs and seeing this little notch up here we completely grinded that off and it just slipped right in so we got to do this four more times on this side and then five times on the other side and we will be able to get these all in and put the wheels on so that's a great movement forward and thankfully this worked out and we didn't have to cut threads off of it or anything so I'm just gonna do this four more times and I'll get back to you guys when I'm done because now it fits perfect so uh, yeah let's do it So guys, I just got done with all five bolts on this side. I'm gonna leave the next five on the other side for tomorrow because that was tiring and high and consuming and it heats up the gloves really bad. And I think I have third degree burns on my fingers, but they're in. Now I need to go do the press trick where I get the, the bolt, the little nut and the uh, lug nut and I press it in because you guys are gonna see how this works again. So I'm gonna get this started and uh, I'm gonna press these all in so I can get the, uh, the drum disc brake thing back over the cover uh my dad already painted that that came out looking really good instead of rusty 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 nasty it looks good now so uh yeah after i get that on then we can start putting the wheel back together this is the uh drum disc brake thing um yeah it looks really good it's gonna look solid once everything's all in so now i just need to mess with these lug nut studs so let's get into it Okay, so I got all the studs in, everything's good. I put the rotor back on, it just slides right back on. Uh, the caliper put on top of the rotor, which is what holds the rotor into place. So I got that done. I just need to finish tightening this bolt right here and then everything will be set and then we can throw a spacer on here and throw that 20 inch wheel. <laughs> throw it on here and then lower this side of the car and we'll worry about the other side tomorrow. But right now we're worried about this side. This side's gonna be done and lowered and we're gonna get to see what the fitment looks like so far so we're gonna hand the camera over to my dad he's gonna film me finish this real quick and then we're gonna throw a spacer on put the wheel on and we should be a-okay let's get it just keep filming
all done with this side lowered lowered everything will set the suspension will set a little bit lower later on throughout the day or actually through the night we'll catch up with everything tomorrow though we're gonna clean up now let's get a finished product tomorrow let's get it guys it's day three or four i'm not sure right now anyway we're starting on this side uh finishing up the car today dad is painting up all the calipers and everything so that's about to be done. I already put the studs in the front. About to get started on putting the studs in the back. I gotta grind those down, so I'm gonna record that real quick. But it'll be done really soon. So I'm gonna get started to grinding on all that good stuff, and then we're just gonna hop in, finishing this car, and getting it done. So let's get into it. So guys, we had gotten everything done on the car. As you guys can see, it's all put back together. But I need to go get it to get washed real quick. But I do need to take it to go get washed real quick. And this car, I can still drive into an automatic car wash. So I'm not going to hand wash this because I'm going to take advantage of washing it in the actual car wash. Because like you guys know, washing my car or the Beetle, we have to hand wash them because it's too low to go in the rails at the car wash. But this one... It's not lowered yet, so we don't have to deal with that problem. So we're gonna get this washed, and I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna edit, make an edit of the car, and you guys are gonna get to see what it looks like right now. Let's get it. So guys, everything is washed. Time for an edit. Let's get it. All right guys, so now that the edit is done, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please let me know what you guys think of the Lexus so far. It's not lowered yet, but it will be soon. Hopefully by 400 subscribers, we will get this thing lowered and all that good stuff. So uh, reach that spot and we'll get this lowered. But in the meantime, before we get to that mark, all you guys can do to help is please like, share, and subscribe. That's all I ask for you guys doing to see these amazing builds here, as you guys can see, and then the Beetle all the way over there. More builds to come, but it'll be coming more juicy and juicy every single day. So please like, share, and subscribe. Comment down, with, be, comment down below what you guys think of all the projects so far. This one's coming out pretty decent. Fitment It's getting better as we go. It'll look a lot better when it's lowered trust. Beetle over there looking good. Oh, baby blue. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, anyway, but yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy. Again, I'm not. I'm, I'm gonna say it one more time. Please like, share, and subscribe because it helps me out a lot. And yeah, brings more content out and all that good stuff. So uh, thank you guys for 300, and I'm out. Deuces.